Everybody, welcome back to Life After the Woods, episode 58 with me, Sid, and uh, I am ramped up for winter. <laughs> it is absolutely bloody freezing here. Well, I mean, I suppose if you live in countries where the temperatures like this are relatively normal, then it's probably not that freezing. But for the UK at this time of the year, you know, it's cold. So I've got my scarf on. Um, it's uh, my lucky scarf, so obviously have an extra level of fortune to mine blocks which is always good uh i've got my new claws i've got my belt i've still got one charm slot free and i've got my kitty slippers so yeah oh and i've got a head slot as well what, what goes on the head slot i think it was um yeah things like the drinking hat or the novelty drinking hat um snorkel uh, night vision goggles and then you've got uh, the villager did I not have a villager hat I could swear blind I had one of those you know superstitious hats extra level of looting yeah so there's not a huge amount of things that go into the head slot um, I think is what we're seeing here but it doesn't matter because more importantly is yeah we're um, oops let me hit the right button. There we go. We're back. We are, we've had a caving trip. I've discussed all of the amazing and wonderful ideas I have. How are you doing, Eric? And, uh, yeah, we are. I know I could have pressed that one, but we're back and at it. <coughs> Pardon me. End device. So what is the plan for today? What is actually the time? Let's just check whether I can snooze or not. I can, it's night time, okay. This is a good thing that I checked because running out into creepers amongst all of my expensive machines would not be the best idea in the world. Arr, don't mess with me. Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so plans, 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 plans. Uh, we're on episode 58 and I've already said that I want to put a server back together. Now in the meantime, between then, I have put together a prototype server pack um, and I'm currently testing that out just to see how that goes um, in single player. It, it's a little bit samey. Uh, I will say this right up front. It is a little bit... Well, there's a fair old amount of stuff running through there. You are absolutely chocker and you are doing your thing. This could all do with being a lot faster, of course, which is possible. But we've got, we've got some issues down here, some things which are not quite right with the world. One of them is our plate making setup. The other one is our brass making setup. The third one is our precision mechanism making setup. Um, not so worried about this one possibly today. Maybe, maybe not. This one is fine. Um, I think the only thing we need to do is alter the building to fit this. And if we didn't have these and this, I would bring the entire thing forward to here and encase it a little bit more sensibly, which again, we can do. That's fine. Is that a light block? It is. Okay. So, anyway, this is this is just churning out materials like they were going out of fashion. Um, and to be fair, this could actually be feeding into a storage system, which is another element of something I want to play with before we um, close the season. And then finally, um, I wanted to take this all the way around. So this boardwalk becomes a part of the entire lake. Um, and that is something I want to get done today because I get my slippers wet when I have to come through here. The lighting over here needs sorting, possibly even as far as getting this area around here walled off perhaps and lit properly so it becomes a yard maybe get rid of this grass and uh, you know all those good things that we can do we continue this round to here you know the boardwalk will be what three or four wide so that's fine <clears throat> 
I should go and check up on this thing because I've probably got way more, way than it, way more than enough of the dead logs I have. Okay, let me just um, let me just go and sort of turn this off quickly. Bonk, thank you. And grab this lot. So, yeah, my plans. My my plans are very simple for this series, uh, and that is to finish. It, 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 no, <laughs> well, but yes, it is. So I have got a new server pack put together. It is a mage themed server pack, but it's also a tech themed server patch. And I've already done techno mage. <coughs> Pardon me, I've got a right tickly throat. Techno mage as a as a pack. So you know, I'm not doing another techno mage because that would be silly. But what I have got together is the concept of, uh, what do I need anyway, just have got oak, oak, stripped oak, spruce, dark oak, bit of willow, okay, uh, some trappies, all appear to be spruce trappies, yes, oh no, there's some oak ones as well so let me go and grab a few bits and pieces like that so anyway the the pack is i think uh, name is working progress but it is something along the lines of uh brass and staves or brass and staff uh, uh, brass and manor i don't know something along those lines it's a mage pack as i've said it is concentrating on magic and steampunk so both the create mod and the magic mod and you're going to sit there and immediately say so what's the difference between that world and this world and and i'm going to say not a lot which is why i'm a little bit in two minds about it however let me continue and regale you with my my amazing ideas we'll take those that should be more than enough of that uh, blah, blah, blah. So the the concept is pretty straightforward. Um, I don't know whether that works or not. <coughs> we're going to have. We'll take some of you. We're going to have. We're going to have. He says. He says repeatedly because he's not actually finished the sentence in his own mind. Um, we are going to have. <laughs> the times the charm. Not just manor and artifice, and we're not just what did I use those for? Can't remember. Um, we're not just doing. I'm going to take a little bit of that. Well, we are just doing create, but we've got all the create add-ons, all a lot of the create add-ons. So create is is quite a significant um, part of the pack. We've got manor and artifice. Um, the Create is the latest version of Create, which is um, the one with all the train add-ons and yada yada. The, the stuff that the, um, the Hermitcraft crew are playing at the moment. Everybody seems to go mad on Create at the moment. I've always liked Create, so I'm not going to move away from it just because everybody else is doing it. Um, and you know what? It's probably quicker to do that, isn't it? Did not want two stacks though. Um, and we are going to have um, create, we've got mana and artifice, but we've also got blood magic, we've also got Britannia, and we've also got enchanted, oh, I can't remember the name of the mod now, it's a witchery clone. Um, there's a few others, there's a whole load of quality of life stuff, and a little bit of world exploration stuff, you know, it, basically, the kind of things you would expect to to want you know the, the things that you're going to need uh in jump up here in a pack so that means on a server pack if you don't want to go down the manor and artifice route you don't have to because you can go down the um Blood Magic route, or the Britannia route, or a bit of both. So that's my thoughts. 
and that's the pack that is together so at the moment I'm just testing it I will make a few tweaks I am sure and then I will um, get a server up and running I'll probably record the first couple of episodes just to let me bed the server in and get used to it all and yeah yada yada Bob's your uncle all that good stuff anyway that is that now uh, I need to make myself a few bits and pieces so I shall be back in a while all right we are about halfway around uh, on the thing um, similar kind of design I do need to let me just quickly plant these again boop, boop, and Obviously, as we move around here, some of these, um, I really should. Let me just, where's my shears? Snip, 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 snip. Let's not lose any more than we have to, eh? Snip. And then we've got a snip there, because that's going to, that should be all right. And... Yeah, I think that should do it. <clears throat> so once I've done that, then I've got the pathing to do, a bit of walling, securing the compound a little bit. I've deliberately dropped this in here, and there's a reason for that. Instead of teleporting up here, I want to teleport out here. And I'll call it factory area rather than create factory and we'll move this. Are you still in the right place? Oh, you are. Yeah. So that will be out here, which will mean that we can get to all, th all of the factory stuff quicker. Uh, I do need some lights still. I also do need to contemplate putting a little bit of this in around here as well. Not too much, just a smidge. And, and then obviously I need to continue on out here. I need to work out lighting and all the wonderful stuff. But by the end of that, I probably also need to work out what I want to do back here. Now... If I'm going to move that lot forward, then I don't need to change those windows. So that's a plus. I may even move those forwards and turn them around. Hmm, maybe, I don't know. There's uh, so many <coughs> considerations to take in. But uh, once again, night falls. So we'll sleep the night away. I will continue working this lot over here. We'll get the lights in and, uh, and I'll be back in a moment. Okie dokie. <coughs> Again with the thing. Okay, I need to re rejig my uh, thing. I, I basically changed my bar for work on that. And I want to go back to the factory area. I've moved it back over here and I had to actually put trapdoors under there because it doesn't respect the blocks. So, yeah, that was a thing. However, we have now got a complete boardwalk all the way around our lake here and what I would like to do is uh, let me just check for anybody green and no I think we are okay so what I want to do is I'd like to go and bring a wall in that runs, no, not there. Maybe across there. And I made up this map of base concrete, which is not the most interesting block but it's a starting point so we're going to use that as the foundation and then we're going to have a two block high 
stack wall that runs around here and keeps any unwanted visitors out of the compound back here. Now obviously we do need to light this because right now it is spawnable in a lot of the areas so that's fine. But I also want to do similar over here. May need more concrete but that's not a problem. So the problem is this wall here, this door here is bloody miles away. <laughs> but that's fine. He says, messing up. And we'll just come along like a so. until we meet up with that wall there and again we'll do something with a foundation and a double high wall now, I may need to go and make some more wall blocks that is not a problem if I do but I had 36 let's see how many I've got left after I put in oops lower oops try again her uh, grass bane of my building life I need another 30 well I actually need another uh, whatever that is another Twenty-four, actually, but there you go. Da -da -da -ba -da. However, hmm, let's have a think. Door. Uh, what would be a good door? And I've got a really itchy back. Where's my backy scratcher? Oh, oh God! Greatest invention ever. These things, I tell you. Oh man, yes, 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 that's what we wanted. Oh yes, that's nice, 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 nice. Okay, I'll be it myself, sorry. <laughs> I realised that probably did not come across. So if I wanted a steel door, well, you need to do all sorts of weird stuff, don't you? Let's have a look, because I do fancy a steel door. How much steel have I got? Steel door. Three steel. So I'm going to need... Have I got enough to make a steel door? You're telling me... Okay, fine. I'll not make a steel door. That's, that has made it patently clear that you do not want a steel door. I'll have a dead door instead. Of course that will do anyway. Mm, doop. I may even put one on the back wall as well, just for good measure. So back to the factory area, let's have a look. If I want a door coming out of here, I shall put you here. And, oh come on. Why do walls not connect to doors? I mean, it's, it's stupid when you think about it. But there you go. Okay, we have... We have a door. Out, so we can come out here and work around the back of the factory. It's something to go on the top there, I don't know what. But it doesn't matter. That gives that. Again, we do need to do something with this ground over here. It's definitely too green and too vibrant. This is supposed to be a factory area after all. 
Um, I need to do something over there with the factory, but um, with the walling, but I'm not entirely sure what. So when you don't know, don't worry about it. Um, it's mainly just to stop anything creeping up on me. You know, creepy, like a creeper. So, that's the thing. And uh, so if I were to come out here, drag a little bit of that up there and there, whack one of those in. Now, what do we think? It really doesn't make sense though, does it? Doing it like that. If that's centered, that would be fine, but I think that's going to be the best we're going to get. I need a floor and I need to illuminate and stuff, so I need to think about what I want to do out here next. Um, yeah, let me have a mull on that and I will be right back. All right, um, I need to go out to the reef. Uh, I, I need I need some corals. Uh, I don't need a shark, however. Not that said shark poses any real threat. Um, I'm going to pick one colour and I'll go for yellow. Just because I've only got so many inventory slots. And of course, the colour I just picked is the one I cannot find. Uh, don't need a lot. Maybe a few of these as well. Did I just destroy a yellow coral? I did, didn't I? And remember, as a, somebody who um, who does actually, or used to dive, um, haven't dived in a while, would love to do it again. However, my inner ear disagrees with me. <laughs> or rather my inability to equalise the pressure in my ear. Um, and believe me, that is excruciatingly painful when... Uh, if you've never experienced try the the sensation of trying to get equalise the pressure in your ear when it when your ear does not want to do it and you're even just ten or twenty feet down, it can be absolutely excruciating. So yeah. Anyway, I will just grab uh, that will should be enough. We can head back. Oh look at that. Look at Hmm. Where? I've lost me a... Uh... Well, that's embarrassing. Oh, uh, yeah, you could probably see I've got a whole load of stone of various types in there. So, I've got me factory area. Uh, I am going to just whip out a few of these blocks here just that I've put in, just because I can. Not too many, but the odd one. And we'll let these become dead coral. Won't take long. And I just wanted to put something down that looks less than healthy. <laughs> but that's that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring that round. It's going to cover all of this area out here. Uh, all of the area in the front to around about here. Maybe just kind of verging in around this area and around the back over here. So that's the next job on the list. Um, 
Hmm. So uh, let's get to it. Okay. Uh, apart from a few bits where things we are lit up, we are decorated, we are factorified, and the entire outside of here is now done. Uh, thrown a few bits of, you know, as if there was product sticking around. A uh, tank there, um, just you know, order put lava in, but you can't bucket lava out of a create tank. You have to get it out using a nozzle, and then, I'm not that desperate for it to be lava, I'll be honest. Through here, similar kind of thing, just a very worn yeah, and we can, you know, have a little peek out that way, but there's, you know, it's all spawn safe and all lit and everything is fine and dandy. Um, so I need to grab a few bits and pieces for, I want to move, I'm, I'm, I was, I've, I've got grand plans for all of that. Grand plans. But I've got grand plans for the remainder of this series, of course. And uh, as we say, this is episode four. 58 and you will be seeing this episode on the 11th of December uh, not a huge amount of time left till Christmas so my plan my, my big plan my, my, my awesomely awesome plan my plan of planniness is I'm running this series so episode 60 and uh, that means that you will see the last episode of this series on Christmas Day. Uh, Merry Christmas. No, not that. I'm not that conceited. Um, arrogant maybe, but not that conceited. So the last episode of this will be Christmas Day and the 1st of January, New Year's Eve, will be, all mean well, the server um, running the magical mod pack or things. Still need to work out. Have I got, uh, I've got two encased chain drives. I mean, I need more than that. Recipe, they're not expensive though. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think nine. Let's make ten. No, I need more shafts though. And those are, they're just andesite alloy. Should hopefully have plenty of that kicking around somewhere. <laughs> of course you don't. Stupid. Andesite. Got plenty of andesite though, so we'll grab 64 of each of those. We shall grab 64. Convert that lot over into nuggets. There we go. Uh, if I remember rightly, that's that's how it, I'm remembering my thing. Yeah, so that is that is the plan. That is the plan. That should be plenty. Oh, and I need nuggets anyway, don't I? So grab those and let's get those crafted up. Uh, Made plenty of encased chain drives, all good. So, that, let me put those nuggets in there. I probably should just take this lot with me. Um, that is the plan, we're, we're going to wrap up. I'm gonna to aim to have, you know, various bits and bobs, like this was a big, big area that I wanted to just get the, oh, hello get completed out and now we have so that's all good now in case the chain drive going all right, I want you to come off of here and then come all the way up to there all right, if I just jump up and chunk out of that I think this will be the easiest way of getting some of this rotational power up there. Yes, so I'm going to continue working on the pack because, you know, be silly not, well, got it really. Oh, bomb. Well. Not only did I hurt my kitty, but I, uh, right. 
I love that sound. I'm going to miss that one. Um, Huh. Let me try doing it like that. No. I know it doesn't actually matter if that's rotated the same way, but we'll bring that up to, say, about there. That should do the tree nicely. And then we'll pop you back in here. So what we need, I might actually take that one out yet. Yeah. What we need is to go and grab our pressing apparatus for starters and we'll get that one moved over maybe the maybe the bronze and the brass bit as well and if i were doing create over i would probably start with a much heavier resource intensified intensification just to make sure that this kind of stuff here and that and yeah, maybe a bit of that and I'm going to leave that in for now, actually, because I'm going to regret it if I take that out and we need it. We'll do that. So in terms of the server, um, uh, I've got to work out how to get my pack onto Curse Forge. This used to be really, really easy with uh, back in the back in the day of the Curse Forge app. It was very easy to throw yourself together a mod pack and then export it in such a way that um how oh, should I have brought that? I'm actually yeah, oh okay. I'm gonna be a pain. I've just realized that if I'm gonna do it at that level, I might as well actually just bring it straight up off of that one. It saves a rotational hoof or hoof dicky which is not that big a deal um, but it also means that um, I can just go straight up into that section there and it would take everything close to the wall maybe I don't know we'll work it out well where, where was I uh, I can't reach um, yeah so if you are interested in playing on the server as per usual let me know I will obviously give oh, damn. that doesn't actually exist as a block that's great okay let me just do that i've got plenty of these so that should do the trick nicely um yeah but we'll kind of tidy up in here for this one and that gives us that and then what I want is a bit of that going on um, we're going to want our pressificator not there because that's going to no, one down about there um, that's fine and maybe take out that one, stick a little bit of that in, and then I need to put these down, don't I? Um, I could have put them on the glass, I know. Uh, come on. And one of those through there to th Oh, you're going to be like that, are you? Hmm. And then... How do I want to take this over? I mean, I could... One of those in there. Gonna need another one of those, but 
In fact, haven't I got a... The floating cogs really don't make much sense though, so put one of those there, put a big one there, and then that will run that. I mean, it would have been better to the back there. Which it may actually be possible to do, hang on a second, through the roof. And then we can have a cog sticking out, which would look very steampunk. Hmm, need to get on the roof now and I need some blocks to do it. What have I got? Obsidian, the perfect block. Um, let's have a sleep. Yeah, so kind of where I'm going with the plans here. Um, server series, I'm going to try and play it more frequently. Uh, and there is a reason for that. Um, because in the past I've I've played my server series and yeah there you go now can I get can I take you out, pop you back and get another big hmm. yeah that wasn't the wisest idea was it, big cog um, how do we make big cogs again? I can't remember yeah the way I played it in the past the players on the server have often left me behind not in a bad way or anything just I'm working you know one episode a week or something like that and playing two or three times a week at the outside they're playing for hours of a day and what well, you know, I'm at this point and they're suddenly like hey, I've just beaten the game and which is fine because it's a server and we all do it our own way but you know it can be a little discombobulating perhaps uh, right cog 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 want a big cog and I make a big cog with large gear or with wood hmm uh, I think I've got some wood in here I have that's fine then we can manage that make myself another big cog that will allow me to link that through the wall hopefully and uh, everything should be good what was I looking to get there? Can't get and a beard of andesite alloy. I'll make myself a few. Once I've found me andesite alloy. One, two, three, four, five, maybe. Doop, boop, and boop. And. That's enough for two. So. Put another five. Let's try that. Uh, 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 uh. There, perfect. Lovely. Right, I need to get back out, don't I? That was probably a mistake, um, but we'll find out one way or the other. And then we can come through there. That is perfect. That will go there and you will go there still need to get that thing down but that yeah happy with that that works hmm need to get this down though first right let me just continue twiddling here a wee bit because me flummoxing around is not always the best thing um, and I quite actually like having the idea of a few cogs exposed as well because it it basically says this is a factory I mean there was no doubt it was a factory but now you really know for definite it's a factory and if I were to grab a little andesite alloy I can even
and close that in there like so. So then all we need is an input and an output. Uh, expensive. Haven't got any, what are they? Uh, shoots, is it? No. And a site funnel. So just need a couple of those and a couple of kelp. Now we've got to find that. A couple of kelp, a couple of andesite, and that, and oops, all the way around. Right, we're going to need those. That can go away. That lot can go away. That can go away. Need something to put them into. Let me let me just go and keep this simple. Go with what you've got on your personage, and that was the wrong recipe. So if I go and pop that there that's a reasonable sized little cratey and huh, how did that go that's got to be there and that's got to be other one there and then we can stick you there Nothing fancy that. You can go there. Uh, you need to be. Maybe I don't. Maybe that's fine. Let's go and turn it on. Grab some iron and make some iron plates. After all, I've got a reasonable amount of iron here. This, I'm going to make wireless. Doesn't exist in the latest new version to create that. That little exploit has been... Um, things that's going the wrong way, but it doesn't really matter, does it? Put those in. Yeah. Perfect. Not the most exceptional looking thing. Um, could do with something to up the uh, the look. I think of that. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, we'll go and grab, just for the time being. Yeah, a treat now. Ignore me. Uh, that's the wrong way. Right, so, not, not hugely, oh wow, yeah, and you've even got that going on, on the outside. Love it. Not the most productive. Um, day we'll we'll get the um, we'll get the cooker done and also I'm not that bothered to be honest about a precision um, that works fine you see about a precision hoofer what's the magic that that is not actually that critical to our plans by any any stretch of the imagination um, but it would be nice to automate it a little bit Got anyone there we go um, just because it would you know so on that note um, I need to get a screenshot of the place but 
I'm happy. This is working fine. And let's have just have a look what my uh, charcoal reserves are actually looking like now. Oh wow, we are. We're basically we're running for days, aren't we? Um, because I mean that's got twenty in it. That's going to run for a while. This is doing its thing. Everything is fine. Yeah, I suspect that will run out of uh, iron before we run out of uh, things. So it, that's all good. A little bit more going on up here. And of course, don't forget, we still have this space up here to play with as well. So on that note, thank you very much for watching, guys. I know this has been a little bit of an all over the place episode. But until next time, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye for now.